Hello, I am glad to be here. I'm Ilona, aesthetician, and today we will be talking about nutrition and a skin cellular level, what's happening. And with me joining uh, today, Eva from Latvia. She is the health ambassador and mentor in uh, many countries working with various health concepts and her uh, work is uh, mainly based with working with Dr. Paul Clayton, nutritionist. And uh, I am really glad to invite her because we're going to be talking today about nutrition about the basics of everything that we don't look at the uh, condition but we look at the core and how we can do it i'm gonna invite eva she's actually having birthday party and i been lucky that she can join in me hello eva Hello, hello. Did I succeed to join? <laughs> Happy birthday again. <laughs> oh, thank, you, thank, thank you for taking your time and <laughs> coming here today talking with me and little bit spread the word about our uh, the way you work and concept and which was very interesting for me, which I took as well in my approach uh, to look at the skin overall, not to treat the condition but to look at the core where where we need to look at it it's absolutely interesting and scientific uh, based proof and that's what i i love about it i guess i have to say thank you <laughs> <laughs> for inviting me to this uh, live conversation as yeah, this is so much out of my comfort zone at the moment. <laughs> yeah, Thank God you. the topic uh, we're talking about is more or less something I have been living with uh, for already nine years. So I can calm down. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And today we're going to be just touching the like a little basics and give some like a tips mm -hmm. what it is uh, basically how how do you work and how mm -hmm. how we can understand better our skin and our our aging process and health overall as well because uh, the skin mm -hmm. is one of the first stages when the health go wrong that your body mm -hmm. starts to 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 save brain and heart gonna be taking from your skin mostly yeah and uh, yeah let's let's put it uh, so uh, based or fundament for everything starting from good health in general uh, long term and of course nice radiant young looking skin <laughs> in every age uh, it starts with a one thing which actually impacts so 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 many others and it's as simple as that uh, these are uh, essential fatty acids which we need to uh, have from our diet in proper doses yeah, and when we uh, still had natural uh, food natural in a way that it was grown and not uh, produced and prepared not produced uh, the natural proportions of these fatty acids in our food were approximately the same. And if, if I need to name the names so that the specific, uh, what to say, yeah, how people would recognize it if, if they are more or less in, in a nutrition or good uh, food, uh, then they would know uh, names omega-6s and omega-3s. And the omega sixes; these are uh, mainly fatty acids from uh, plant-based foods, and uh, omega threes; these are from from sea fats from sea. And natural food had more or less the same proportion of one and the other. Today, when we 
even if we really strive for really good food and make an effort to, to have good food, we won't, most of all, we won't uh, have it in equal proportions. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the fundament to try to balance those fatty acids out. And uh, we need to understand that the only way to balance them out and any way to obtain them is through food. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you're trying Can to say I, something. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, thought that uh, the way you explain is more like a very science-based, but I want to explain more, um, more simple language in the... Uh, that basically one cell, cell membranes, which are in us, they are to be created from the omega-6 and omega-3, so basically. And when they are, uh, they, the amino acid, fatty acids are uh, fighting with each other to create that cell, the stable. So there is needs to be this balance between them and omega-6 and omega-3 builds up. So if there is in the foods, uh, starts to take over uh, some like uh, foods which creates omega-6, it um, grows over the cell mm -hmm. membrane and creates its uh, the shell like a hard. Like a stick, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and whatever you eat or um, drink like a beauty supplement or anything it's just going through the waste and doesn't absorb in the cell mm -hmm. and that's where the omega-3 is coming in to fight that shell that cell and create it's like a spongy so it absorbs stronger and that's where the science starts to look at these like a ratios mm -hmm. and from the ancient times how the uh, first people were eating, how the DNA being created, and how these days last um, 80 to 90 years, the diet has changed and how it affects our um, health. And that's where is this the, this concept. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, and uh, the, to say uh, that, well, omega-6 and omega-3, or plant uh, fats, and sea fats, yeah, these are the main components our cell membranes consist of. And maybe we can say that they don't fight, but they cooperate. But all of them, as much as we have, they will be built in the membrane. And we need to have as much omega-6s as omega-3s. Only then, this membra membrane is uh, strong enough and fluid enough both to be stable and to let the things, uh, necessary things and nu nutrients into the cell and waste out. And um, the modern diet forces us uh, involuntarily, I must even say, to overdose omega-6s. Yeah, that's what we have, like lots and lots each day on our uh, plate, but we lack om omega-3s. And um, this is something we're not talking uh, about only like uh, on the intuitive level. It's because today we already have uh, a dry blood spot test. So we can everyone test and find out what's the ratio, our personal ratio of omega-6 and omega-3 in every hour cell. And so first of all, then we know what health prospects we have long-term. But the second thing is, then we see how much of our beauty potential we have actu actually utilized. <laughs> because if, uh, if a person, sometimes I even meet people who say, oh, I'm, I'm feeling so well, and, and they actually look okay. But when we measure this, uh, this thing, we find actually out that the ratio is very bad. And even then you can make a conclusion, you look good with that bad ratio. Think if you had good ratio, how then you would look. <laughs> I, I could say, like, when I found out about this um, concept, because uh, uh, I, uh, I, my mom had a stroke, and then I was uh, looking for the ways to help her. 
uh, and then this uh, concept came with uh, Omega-6 and my friend yeah. invite, introduced me with. And uh, so I booked, ordered for my mom and for myself and, and for my family. And my ratio was um, 8.9 to 1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Omega-6 inflammation was mm -hmm. quite high. And uh, one, but uh, I felt like, okay, yeah, it didn't feel and, and look okay as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I didn't thought that I actually uh, really need uh, some health improvements. But when I looked at, at that uh, two years ago, that test, I was like, wow, that is bad. So I started, yeah to extra supplements to use like omega-3 but mm -hmm. even then because i felt good i thought why do i need it i i, I really don't need it it's just uh, I, I feel good it's just a test yeah and <laughs> yeah. uh it was two years ago then you yeah. as far as i understand you supplemented and then you made another test what, what does it so, look like today yes yeah, so now i did in february again because uh, I decided to take this concept into my uh, field of work and work with my clients and patients. And uh, it was 2.5 to 1. But it was Good. all in very uh, gray area, which showed that my uh, omega-6 and omega-3 wasn't enough there. It's almost like... I've been uh, starving my body. Hmm. So you lacked both of them already. Yeah, yes. It's, it's somehow was showing because I, during that time, I started uh, not to feel that well, but I didn't <laughs> thought that I need to drink omega-3. And uh, I was going to doctor to show my blood test. And she was saying, you are absolutely fine. Just a little bit cholesterol. Whatever you do, it's fine. Uh -huh. But for uh, my internal body, I, mm -hmm. I felt that something That's is something not right. Good. Yes. Yeah. And because uh, I was cutting uh, out all the carbohydrates, all the uh, flakes, uh, fibers, um, watching about the all the nutrients at uh, Dr. Gundry podcasts and all uh, many and uh, using uh, with a homeopathy was using everything based on a ghee butter and uh, it mm -hmm. seems like it was overdoing mm -hmm. that one. well this and, is probably also a classical thing that we uh, do something uh, like on base of an idea <laughs> and then yeah. when we don't measure we don't actually see the result we just think that we're creating good results this is a very good thing to to have these tests and again if i uh, refer to your uh, blood test which uh, i understand you made at your general health practitioner this is something completely different they simply take uh, your blood and count what cells are in there but the test I am talking about, it uh, examines the cell membrane. So it's completely something different. And of course, you see different things there. So what you see on the le level of counting cells, you will not be able to uh, compare it like directly or link the result uh, of the dry blood spot test. This is a mm -hmm. different thing <laughs> and tells different yeah. things to us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's what I realized with the, this year when I started in February taking that concept and I t t took on board the, the old very religiously <laughs> to drink the oil. Now I am uh, uh, as well the products using the supplements to improve mm -hmm. my health. I, w I have to say I feel really good and I'm determined to put uh, the results in um, July or August because it's going to have this uh, five to six month uh, mm -hmm. gap mm -hmm. which is going to show the, what, what is the exact um, balance and, mm -hmm. and how because right now it's, it feels a bit stressful and uh, by creating this uh, beauty retreat mm -hmm. but 
I am really feeling in control and just uh, everything seems like I, I am doing and uh, it seems like it's helping me as well. Well, I'm happy to hear. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. in this topic, there is uh, much, much more to tell and to understand. Yeah, one thing is just to know that, well, we all, almost all, lack omega-3s. Uh, then we can, uh, but then it's not enough just to go and get some omega-3. It has to have specific properties yeah, and uh, it has to be stable. And so this would be one thing we will be talking about, how to recognize this uh, stable formula. <laughs> yeah, and uh, how do we create to get that? Uh, because, uh, yeah, it's not a magic pill like today I'm there and tomorrow I'll be uh, somewhere else. It takes time and it's uh, related to how long a uh, life cycle every cell has. So when we feed our new cells with, with proper amounts of, of the vital nutrients so they can build uh, properly. And yeah, you already named this uh, half a year uh, actually for blood cells to come into the right balance. Uh, we need four months. 120 days that's the cycle of regeneration yeah and many other things we actually uh, should understand before we take the step probably <laughs> yeah and that we will be talking on the 6th of july at 10 a.m 10 o'clock in the morning we're gonna have a live zoom in the beauty retreat uh, it's gonna be really good because uh, that's uh, as well that what I am usually saying to my patients to understand where they, which condition they coming to me, like what is the state, how long it's been taking them to get to this state. So usually they say it's been like two years to five years time. Mm -hmm. So I am saying, so what is your expectance? How quickly you think you're gonna get results if it's gonna be, it's been like this going they are like well i would like three months six months and i have to disappoint them because mm -hmm. if you've been going three to five years in this condition and you expect miracles in three months time to be absolutely beautiful and healthy it's it's not gonna happen it's, it's again takes the time to your health the same it's probably year or two years even so you have to prepare yourself to work and be uh, prepared to do that consistently and to take it in your hands initiative mm -hmm. to improve uh, not, not just health but all the skin condition from inside and that is the the minimum or what uh, what is like usually is like uh, I'm saying about six months to to get that condition back in the aging process to to try to reverse yeah it's are you saying no I'm looking <laughs> I'm listening yeah. carefully yes do you agree with me? I uh, Absolutely, I agree. Uh, I can uh, say from experience that some results you can uh, have earlier also. But of course, the uh, overall general improvement, that would come later on. So yeah, <laughs> don't expect miracles to happen overnight. Well, it is... Yeah, I, I, w I would say that... Uh probably with the younger generation is faster for them and easier. Would you, we would are you agree still very with that? young, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. At least I feel very young. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I feel so. <laughs> and you look so. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. You look amazing as well. I, I, I am not entitled to reveal your age, but you look amazing. <laughs> and now it feels as if I'm 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> no, but uh, yeah, 
you you definitely you are great uh, and younger but uh, I, I as i want to say again it's it's not that priority to uh look specifically 20 years younger but it's it's the main thing that you feel and look from inside out great and that that inside feeling of the satisfaction feeling good full of energy that is the that that the key what i am talking about and that yeah. here your expertise is just spot on yeah and if i may add then uh, again talking about the beauty part uh, and the slow aging which is your expertise or holistic aging, then uh, what we know about these omega-6 and omega-3 things uh, or uh, ratios in um, cell membranes, what regards the skin, there has been a study where it's proven that uh, if a person has the proper balance between omega-6 and omega-3, and it's under 3 to 1, yeah, that's the critical uh, level, uh, then the skin elasticity is 22% better than if you have this bad ratio as majority has according to the test results. So that should also be uh, one more reason why <laughs> we need to think about that. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. It is when I uh, started to look at the, the beauty and aging as the holistic approach, that was like... Uh, my god why no one is talking about it but to be honest right now uh, in the right now parallelly to our conversation is going in canada the doctor summit about the anti-aging uh, uh, science and new, new newest technologies and i've been listening to them and actually i'm going in the line with them because it's they're talking about exactly the same that aging is that nutrition and mindset and skincare treatments what we are daily using as the lifestyle exactly. and uh, i i am really glad to creating this uh, beauty from within retreat which is uh, found uh, on the link in a bio in my profile if anyone watching this video now or later and is interested to join us from the 6th till 9th of July and uh, participate in some of the Zoom lives or watch videos later in the Facebook group. You are more than welcome to register yourself and join us. I think uh, today we've been talking about this concept and introducing uh, one last thing what I would like to ask you what the tip you would you give for the person who would uh, who who is listening mm -hmm. and uh, never heard of this concept and and, and thinking mm -hmm. well i think that the tip would be uh find out what's your ratio between omega-6 and omega-3 and uh, when you know and if it's not under three to one then uh, do something about it because it's not just beauty it and uh, yeah, when you know you can natural. Right. Mm -hmm. i said it <laughs> Absolutely. I, I agree with you. I won't just even add there that uh, uh, don't wait until you start to see problems uh, of your skin or, or health. It's just to start taking your hands that responsibility of your health overall and aging. The, the quicker you decide to take it on, the, the better it is for uh, you and your family uh, and uh, it's just uh, something which we have given power to the country and and gps and doctors but it's actually our own responsibility and that's that's what i'm calling to to 
to think about these things and uh, welcoming everyone to, to take care because the woman is the heart of the family and without the woman there is yeah quite a lot of uh, things haven't been done in a family <laughs> Well, I couldn't it's, agree yeah. more about the responsibility and about uh, necessity to take it in our hands. <laughs> so we, when, when we have yeah. the tools. Okay, I, I'm gonna say thank you, Eva, very much for joining me live today. I, 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 I think it is, was your first one, yeah? The live. It was. You were... <laughs> Congratulations, you did it. It was Thank excellent. You. And, and uh, the way you explained things, it was very easy and understandable. And it's complex things is the hardest to explain in a simple language. But uh, I think we did a good job today and most likely we're gonna have amazing uh, zoom on the 6th of july at 10 o'clock yeah, uh it's you uk you. time if anyone from latvia wants to join us it's gonna be 12 afternoon yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> and from anywhere in the world so thank you everyone for watching and uh have a great day and weekend and uh take care yeah. Thank you, Yeva. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a great birthday party. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Bye. Bye.